Time now for the Power Rundown. And in honor of the return of Michelle Clarissa Cabrera, we're going to take you around the globe. So our first topic in the Power Rundown. Far-right candidate Jair Bolsonaro has been elected president of Brazil, a rejection of the left-wing workers' party that ran Brazil for the last 13 out of 15 years. He has been seen as pro-business, right? He could be potentially transformational for Brazil. He's got a, a, his would-be finance minister studied at the University of Chicago. Mm -hmm. It's the first time we, I think, in modern history, you hear a platform that is very much about increasing market forces in Brazil, reducing the role of government in a lot of the businesses that they have there. Keep in mind, he's very, very controversial. He has said some awful things about gays that should not be repeated. And what is astounding about that fact is 29% of gays in Brazil voted for him anyways, and they said they were going to do that. Why? Because people in Brazil are so frustrated with rampant crime, with, with a horrendous economy, the worst recession they've ever seen. So it's really been, uh, this is an incredible moment for Brazil. We're going to see how it works out because the social issues are one thing, but the economic issues are also very powerful. Former military guy, am I remembering Former correctly? military guy, longtime member of Congress, doesn't have a real party though. So it's not clear he can actually execute once he's in power. Mm -hmm. But this is the closest thing we've really seen to a mandate to move away from government intervention. It's interesting to see the sell the news kind of reaction yes. in the EWZ, which had run up, went mm -hmm. to the election, selling off in today's session. Um, in some of the notes today that I've read, one of them said that his pledges to liberalize the economy have been recent and vague, and that the uh, finance minister who you mentioned, educated yep. University of Chicago, is inexperienced. So yes and yes. Absolutely. But we have to wait and see compared to what you know would have happened mm -hmm. if Haddad had won, which would have been more of the same for the last more than a dozen years, right? More government intervention, more government spending, more government subsidies, lack of reform in the pension system. All right, next big topic. This is a big one. German Chancellor Angela Merkel announcing she will step down as leader of her party and will not seek re-election in 2021. Already there's extrapolations being made to how strong will the European Union be if one of the leaders of it, the, the person who's been seen as holding it together, steps aside. Yeah, I, th I take issue with, okay. did she hold it together? Did she actually cause it to fall apart she, with her decision oh, yeah, to let in a million migrants? Yeah, right? definitely. Right? Um, look, I think it's not saying anything that anybody doesn't know already, that she stayed too long at the party, right? She went one too many elections. She believed her press that she was the bastion of the global liberal world order, blah, 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 blah. Um, and then she did something very undemocratic when she made the decision about migrants that has had ripple effects across all across Europe. Europe. Um, and they're still struggling with it today. So uh, what it means in terms for investors, you know, I don't know. I, it, I think it does raise the question... More about the apparent? existential threat. Is there an heir apparent on, in the party? Uh, not, not that we know we, of. We don't even know what party really is going to rise, right? Is it going to be the far right, the alternative for Deutschland? Are you going to see a more centrist party rise up? I, th I think it's really hard to say. She's going to try to stay in power to the end of her official term, even though she's not in charge of the party anymore. That's not typical for her. It's interesting to see the market reaction because initially you had the euro fall and then we had the euro go back higher. We had the DAX finishing higher on the yeah. day. If you are to believe that. She was the person who was actually holding the euro together and that now it could be closer to falling apart. You would think that Germany wouldn't see that reaction. Yeah, no, I agree. And I've watched the euro a lot recently and it doesn't act like it fears very much. It doesn't even fear Italy right now, which <laughs> what I would argue the, the budget bigger. showdown that they're having is much more problematic for the existence of the euro. So the euro trades fine. It trades lower, but is it doesn't trade like it's the market's worried about it going away at this yeah. point. All right, finally, the EWW, that's the ETF that tracks the Mexican stock index, is on track for its worst day since November 2016. And this comes as the U.S. dollar at the highest level against the peso since July. So we had this report from the president of Mexico that he is going to abandon the plans to build a brand new airport. Yes, which, by the way, is a third of the way already done, right? What? I mean, they were deep into this. They've already oh. spent $5 billion. They borrowed $6 billion. It was an extremely controversial airport. The news peg is they had a vote over the weekend, and the Mexican people, it was a non-binding referendum. They voted no against the new airport. That's because the incoming president, in part, AMLO, had been very, very negative about it. He said it was full of corruption, et cetera. And now he says he's going to stick by their decision Mexico City needs a new airport. It's super congested. They got to either fix the old one and expand it or do something here, but it's a lot of money under the bridge, so to speak. 
Uh, and if you don't have a good airport, your city can't grow and your country can't grow as fast as it could be. Because Is that it why the declines capacity. in the That's what ETF? I think so. I think so, yes. Okay. All right, Michelle, thank you. Michelle Caruso Cabrera.